hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're a first time viewer if you've just um been notified or aware of this channel welcome to this channel if you've been rocking with me for quite some time thanks welcome back to this channel and thank you so much for the support today based on the title of this video you know what i'm going to be talking about uh everybody wants to be a profit everybody wants to be with a profit but what is it really like living with a profit no um i believe that god has called me to be a prophet to the nations my husband on the other hand he's he's also being trained um in that regard is also no um i'm not the easiest person to live with there i said it husband if you're watching i know i'm not the easiest of person to live with plus i am a prophet can you imagine that can you imagine living with me guys make sure you comment down below let me know what you think if you're a prophet or you're a prophet let me know what that is like but um let's let's get serious no there are certain things there are certain things that if you don't understand the spouse that you're married as a prophet it may cause a little bit of a problem um but as a prophet there the first thing is god reveals things to you like there's literally no secret um my husband can't cheat on me because best believe i'm gonna dream i'm gonna see it or god gonna tell me because i mean he and i are friends we're like best friends we're pals so i mean he he's not gonna be hiding anything from me that my husband does so guess what there can be no cheating yeah you dig okay um all right let's get serious this time let's get serious for real okay so just a few um experiences that i've had been a prophet and my husband being deeply prophetic and called in the prophetic have encountered um mostly from my side maybe he should share his stuff and i'll share my side now i remember the first instance i remember i love to make jokes i love to play around sometimes and i remember right before my husband and i got married right um i was i was just making a joke and i was saying babe i love you i love you so much man i'll leave you I'll, I'll never give you a bun i'll never cheat on you even if god forbid you go to the jail i'm coming there to bring you food and stuff but me not give you a bun anyways after saying that maybe like a week or two after we got married right uh we decided to do a cross country for a cross country tour for our honeymoon so while we were traveling i remember at that time we had um we got a night we rented a nice vehicle to drive across the country and i remember when we got into saint elizabeth um a cop pulled us over no, when the cop pulled us over, I remember my, I was still in the car and my husband was on the my husband was on the other side of the road talking to the cop and he was over there for maybe like 30 40 minutes i never wanted to get out because i never know what the problem was sometimes the cops can be very rude until they get back in the car or whatever but at the Find out what was happening when i went out um when i went out i said what was happening and the man said he's sleeping in jail tonight and i'm like what and he said to me i said no i said to him this is my husband we just got married we're on our honeymoon and the police turned back to me i said well sorry miss your husband is sleeping in jail tonight i said no um when i said no the holy spirit pulled me up and the holy spirit said remember what you said about if he goes to jail whatever 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 um renounce it just cancel that and so i instantly started to cancel it in the name of jesus i started to bind up what i said and uh we explained to the police that the car was not always apparently there was some issue with the car um some slide paper stuff but we explained that it was a rental and so he told us to just go and whatever we were fine um but that was one of my encounters that one was not even serious anyways when i got pregnant i'm just sharing a few things that god has revealed and i'll just go deep and share other things i remember when i got pregnant um if you guys have not seen the video i did about um how i met my husband you should check it out because i was praying i'll tell you a quick synopsis i was praying with two women that said i think they needed a boyfriend or a husband or whatever i was praying with them and i said um somebody in this car is going to meet somebody by the name of philip he's gonna be that person 
I knew my husband never really know his name or anything like that but um, at the time I got the name I got the name so when I met him I knew it was him so I got the name from from the get-go but anyways um when when I found out that I was pregnant with my son I remember one day I was sleeping and we were intending to we were intending to buy a car but we were nowhere close or ready to buy that car and um i remember i was in pain and my husband i think he told me that he was going on the road to buy pills pain pills for me or something like that and i was like okay you're going to buy pain pills for me fine i'll just go i just lay down and sleep because i wasn't feeling well i was pregnant while i was laying down i as soon as i laid down it's like i just went into like a trance or something and i just started to see my husband buying a car I never fell asleep. I don't fall asleep that quick. I'm one of those people I have to lay down for maybe like a good 30 minutes to an hour before I fall asleep. Unless I'm really tired. If you are that person, comment down below. Let me know. Me not fall asleep so easily. I see some people going on ta in taxi and buses and sleeping in buses and taxi. Like, oh, we're not doing it. No, I can't do that. But anyways, um, I lay down. As soon as I close my eyes, I saw my husband buying a car like a minute after have a fallen asleep you know a minute after the house phone rang i answered my husband called guess what he said to me babe guess what me on the other line you buy a car you know my husband kissing teeth like what the hell how did you even know that i, know that. I, I don't know what happened like i just saw it and I just said it like when you're married to a prophet guys best believe that God will reveal things to you God will show you things another one is um, prophets pray a lot and if you are one of those persons that you love to cuddle love to hug up and spend a lot of time together and sleeping all through the nights when you're married to a prophet that may not be the case because prophets love to pray prophets have great nudges and um um pull into the prior realm and so they will spend a lot of time praying they'll get up 12 o'clock in the night and pray from 12 back to 4 they'll get up sometimes from three o'clock in the mornings and pray from three o'clock to six o'clock so on and so forth so they're always spending a lot of time praying my one of my thing is especially because i'm a pastor i always have to be um writing down a sermon notes and stuff like that and i find um for the past couple of months i find that every time i lay down to sleep as soon as i lay down and close my eyes i start hearing some deep revelations so i constantly have to be I constantly have to keep getting up and writing them down and it bothers me sometimes because i'm like god as soon as my lay down for drop asleep you keep i keep getting the revelation so i keep after get up and write it down i want to, i'm going to make sure i get up and write it down because i've seen many times where as soon as i close my eyes to go to sleep i hear some things and i see some things and i say okay tomorrow morning i wake up i'm going to write it down when i wake up tomorrow morning i don't remember it so that's one of the things sometimes our prophets carry burdens for nations for churches for people and so um when they're carrying that burden they may have a greater desire to pray or a greater desire to shut away based on what the burden is they may carry a sense of sorrow a sense of pain a sense of fatigue or whatever based on what the spirit of the lord is putting on them now don't get me wrong because you're carrying a burden for a nation or a church or something or someone does not mean should take it out on your spouse or let it affect your marriage no that's not what i'm saying what i'm saying if you are in a series of prayer or a session of prayer and you're feeling a certain thing as a spouse sometimes you have to know that okay my husband is praying or my wife is praying and that there's something that they're carrying and so let me just allow him to be f i don't know if i'm explaining it correctly but uh, let me just allow him to be for now based on the burden that they're carrying there are days when i get up and i'm so jovial and playful and there's another day when i get up and uh, like i just 
wish I was the only person in the house for the rest of the day. I just don't want to see anybody. I just want to lay down, read my Bible, or maybe pray, or just focus on God. There, there, there are those days. No, because a prophet prays a lot in the spirit. Uh, when the prophet comes out of the spirit and comes back into the natural, he or she may have a bit of a mood uh, swing. They say that prophets swing the pendulum, which means it's a prophetic term, swinging the pendulum, which means that they may go from emotions to emotions can be emotional um we, i probably have to usually i do teachings on the prophetic to back to teach people how to balance um the things of the spirit from the things of the natural so even though you may be emotional sometimes prophets it should not affect your marriage or your relationship and uh, you have to know how to get yourself in check you still even though you live a spiritual life you still have to know how to maneuver in the physical um another thing another challenge or issue with living with a prophet is that um because they spend so much time in the spirit for some persons maybe especially men i don't know um because they spend a lot of time in the spirit when they come out of the spirit into the flesh into the physical the flesh they become so vulnerable that they have a higher sex demand than usual i know a lot of pastors that say that they want to do it more than anything else um if you guys have ever heard that before comment down below if you think i'm crazy comment down below i don't think i am i've literally spoken to pastors main pastors that say um that they have that struggle where that is and also wives have told me that as well but um that's something that i know of i probably should have done a list of things to share with you guys but they can be one they can be pretty emotional two the sex drive may be higher three there's no secret because god reveals and god is constantly telling them stuff um four they dream a lot i'd say dream a lot um dream a lot and whatever the dream does come to pass can be annoying if you don't understand your spouse if you don't understand your spouse it can come across as annoying because in my whole soul my husband because it's a prophetic atmosphere my husband is no more tapped into the prophet prophetic than ever before and so if i dream every night or every other night he also dreams and the funny thing is whatever i dream he dreams the literal same thing like i don't know if anybody's watching and you have a husband or a wife and you guys dream the same thing if I'm sailing on the ocean to Cuba he dreams that he's sailing going to Africa if I dream if I dreamt I went to the beach he dreamt that he was driving past the beach like it's always almost the same thing when it comes to dreams so we kind of have this thing where we look forward to every morning sharing our dreams with each other as we wake up babe what you dream okay what you dream really so um we have come to a place of compatibility where that is concerned but if you don't know your spouse or understand your spouse how that spouse flows you may think that they are annoying or you know overdoing it but no prophets dream a lot they do dream and have visions a lot another one is um they tend to see the spiritual in everything that is physical number five I'm one of those persons. I see a dog barking after a car. We're driving on the road and the dog is barking after the car. And I start preaching. I'm like, this is sometimes how the enemy fights at you or the enemy is barking at you. And you are upset about the dog outside barking at you in a driving car. Knowing that the dog can hurt you. Knowing that the car can run over the dog foot and break the dog foot. And you're worried about a dog on the outside. Like I literally start preaching about the dog barking after the driving car that we're in my husband and i driving and um, rain a fall and say so we splash the water and it probably almost catch somebody i will preach and i'm start i start seeing the spiritual in it long time you know babes just so you splash him one day him gonna turn around and open the splash somebody else and i just start preaching up a stop like i literally get a revelation from everything We're driving together. I see a truck. The truck mark. I think the truck was marked like fully loaded, or some are may go slow because of heavy load or something of that sort. Now you know me. Start preaching. 
I'm like, babe, sometimes in life, when life seems as though it's going slow, it's because of the weight you're carrying. What you're carrying, it's mega, mighty, strong, in abundance, no plenty, whole heap. It means that you may not be able to go as fast as everyone. Do not be intimidated because of who seems to be moving fastly. Are they carrying any weight? When, whenever somebody's carrying weight, they may move a little slow, but when they get to their destination, best believe, listen, Listen, who want pass, pass. Who want overtake, overtake. I know what I'm carrying. I know where I'm going. I know what I have on my inside. I'm heavy loaded. It's not a race. The race is not for the swift. It's for those who can endure. Listen, I turn everything into a sermon. Maybe, maybe it's not a prophetic thing. Maybe it's a pastor thing. Comment down below. Let me know. Maybe it's not a prophetic thing. Maybe it's a pastor thing. I don't know. But I tend to do that. And... It's not like I it, know that I'm know that I'm thinking about it. It's not intentional. It's not all the time, but I do it a lot. If I really see something that catch me, I may come up with a sermon on it right on spot. Yeah, prophets are able to do that. Um, another thing is they hear from God so frequently and say what they hear or what they see. And if you are not careful, you may think that they are always seeing from God, always hearing from God. Like, can you chill? Can you relax? um sometimes it's not the case sometimes you have to the spirit is subjected to the prophet so it means that sometimes you're able to dial it down but when you live in it when you when your spouse understands you both of you can flex the spirit and you know par in the spirit and talk and discuss certain things in the spirit realm together so it doesn't it's not it's not scary um I really should have written a list of things i am trying to go from experience to experience watch something else i don't know well i know my, my husband always telling me to come to bed my husband always begging me to come to bed like my husband always why every time if you go sleep you're gonna lock up in the bathroom <laughs> My husband always do that every night. Why every time we're about to go to sleep, you're gonna lock up in the living room or lock up in the bathroom? Like, duh, I have to pray before I go to sleep. I mean, not that he doesn't pray or I just do it for an extended period. Like, I'll just go missing for hours. Pray for hours. And he's like, what you doing? Anyways, um... It can be a bit crazy living with a prophet. It can be a bit overwhelming. Uh, people always calling them for prayer. People always try to reach out to them. There's always somebody who needs the person's attention um, to some extent. If they are the natural, you can't always be so heavenly in mind that you're no earthly good to your spouse. So, um, but it, it, there can be challenges if you don't understand um, to live with your spouse, how to live with your spouse. It can be a bit of a challenge. Um, I probably should have done a list. I could have given you more detailed stuff, but these are just my experiences. Um, if you live with a prophet, uh, you can comment down below. Let me know what your experiences or encounters are like. Um, so, yeah. These are my few words in Jesus' name. But uh, seriously, thanks so much for watching this video to the end, guys. Uh, if you enjoyed it, comment down below. Let me know what you think. Remember to share this video with someone. Subscribe. Just share, guys. Share with everybody. I haven't been pushing this channel for the past couple couple weeks, months, I'd say. But um, know that we're here. Know that we're here. I'll just say, just share the video with everybody, please. Help me. Let's grow this channel together. I mean, when my boss big time on the channel, they have a million subscribers. You guys go remember how far we're coming from. Then I'll be able to do great giveaways and, you know, we'll do meet and greet and all of these fun things. But remember, I'm going to bust one day.